Let's say you are back from a trip and you captured some amazing landscape photos and suddenly you notice a wire in your photo that ruined the entire photo. It's pretty annoying, right? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove wires in Capture One using the clone layer and the healing layer. The photos you are about to see are provided by Roger. He asked me how to remove wires in Capture One. So Roger, thank you for providing the photos and this video is for you and for anyone who could have the similar issue. Now, first I want to talk a little bit about the difference between the healing layer and the clone layer. I think they work very similar in Capture One. Uh, they both require you to draw a mask and set a reference point. And the clone layer is pretty straightforward. It's just a simple, straightforward copy and a paste. It's going to copy the area around your reference point and copy that area to, the, to your mask. And the healing layer is a little bit different because it's going to apply some advanced algorithm to to try to figure out what's the object in your mask and, and compare it to your reference point and try to figure out what's the object and try to remove the object in your mask. For example, in this photo, I can create a new clone layer. You can right click on this plus sign and a new clone layer. Or you can just left click on this plus sign to create a regular adjustment layer and then, right, and then left click on adjustment and then select clone. Now you can grab a brush and paint a mask. And then you can press M to show your mask. And this orange circle right here is your mask. And this white circle is your reference point. And basically it tells Capture One which area to copy from. So it's going to copy from the reference point area to your mask area. So for example, I can put my reference point right here so it's going to copy about probably about this area to this mask area. And then you can move around this, uh, you can move this reference point around or you can move the mask area like that. The healing layer works very, very similar, but it just use some uh, advanced algorithm instead of a straightforward copy paste. Now let's take a look at two concrete examples. Now this is the first photo we are going to look at. And the first thing I'm going to do is to increase the brightness, increase the shadow, bring up the exposure a little bit, bring down the highlight maybe, add some contrast so that we can see the wire better. As you can see now, this wire is pretty annoying and I'm going to try to remove it in Capture One. Let's zoom into 100% scale. Okay, and then I'm going to right click on this plus sign and then click on new heal layer and it's going to create a new healing layer. And now I can grab the brush. You can press, uh, you can click on this icon or you can press B on the keyboard and then right click on right click on the screen and then you can select a size the size should be uh, just larger than the wire maybe about that and then i set hardness to be 50. now i can start draw a mask on the wire and then you can press m to see what you have drawn so that's the mask i have drawn and then i can move the reference point I'm going to move it just a little bit under my mask, maybe like that. And then press M to, uh, to toggle off the mask. Now I can keep drawing. Okay, overall I think it works pretty good. The only thing is right here, we have some weird artifact right here and I'm going to get remove this wire. Um, I'm going to create another heel layer, new heel layer here. And then I'm going to draw on this little wire here and set my reference point. Maybe like that. Now, if you think this part of the tree doesn't look very natural, Let's see what we can do to fix this. 
First, I'm going to select the layer that has the mask, and then I'm going to press E, or you can come here and right click on this icon and select Erase Mask. And I'm going to use this Erase tool, and I'm going to remove this part. Okay, and press M to, uh, to hide the mask. And now I'm going to create a new, let's try a new healing layer. And I'm going to switch to 400% scale. And let's go to that little tree. Okay, now grab the brush and I'm going to make my brush smaller and then draw on this wire. Okay. Now I can remove I can move this uh, reference point and find something that can fit the gap. All right, I think that I think that looks good. Okay? Now let's go back to 100% scale. Yeah, now now I think it looks more natural and we can move around and overall, I think it looks pretty good now. And we can't see the wire pretty much. Now let's go to the second photo. The second photo, we have some wires here and we have the tree that's in front of the wire and we have this sign in front of the wire. So I think this photo is a little bit more tricky, but like the last photo, the first thing I'm going to create a healing layer. And then I'm going to grab a brush, set the size. It's just about, just larger than the wire. And I'm going to set my reference point first. You can press and hold the Alt key or Option key on a Mac and click on the photo. So that's my reference point. And then you can start painting. And then you can change your reference point. You want to set your reference point as close to your uh, mask as possible. And then I can continue painting. I'm not going to touch this part just yet because I think it needs a little bit more complicated handling to take care of this part. Now I'm going to create a new clone layer and then I'm going to zoom into 400% and move to the area that I want to touch. Grab the brush and press Alt or Option and set the reference point and then change the size of your brush and then you can start painting. All right, this part I think now is pretty good. It's back to 100% scale. And now I'm going to take care of this tree, the wire behind this tree. Grab the brush. I think the clone tool works pretty good in this case. Okay. Now I'm, I need to go back to my reference point. Update the reference point a little bit so that so that I can get rid of the little dot right here. All right, now I think it looks pretty good. Go back to 100% scale. And then I'm going to remove the wire here as well. Go to 400% scale, grab the brush, and then I can draw on this. And if I want, if I want to, I can remove this all together. All right.
Now I need to create a new layer to fix this sign. I'm going to create a new uh, clone layer and then grab the brush. I'm going to set my reference just about here and then paint right here. And now I just need to change my reference point. Okay, now I need to fix the gap here, create another clone layer, and in and at this time, I'm going to draw a mask first around this gap, and then I'm going to update my reference point. All right, now I think that looks good. Let's go back to 100% scale. So this is 100% scale, and overall, I think everything works pretty good. Um, let's see. Let's say if you don't like this little cloud right here, uh, if, if that appears too artificial to you, you can remove that. You can create a new healing layer and grab the brush, change the size. You can just draw on this draw on this uh, cloud and then change your reference point and it's gone. Very easy. Or you can remove this as well. All right, now we just removed the wires from this photo and everything looks pretty natural to me. And we are at 100% scale. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you're the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. And also, if you are interested in Capture One and you are going to buy a Capture One software license, you can use the coupon code AMBCAI to save some money. The coupon code works for bundles, full license, upgrades, styles, and annual prepaid prepaid annual subscription plans. Check out more information and tutorials in the description below. All right, guys, that's it from me today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.